is officially three years old in roughly five days. Well, actually, Ryan, it already turned three if you count the beta. Well, technically, yeah, but the official release of Adrama Legends globally was, I believe, May 30th or like June 1st, one of those two days in that, in that neighborhood, which is next week. Now, I've been keeping up. Drama Legends has been dropping a lot of stuff, you know, as we get closer and closer to the actual anniversary. We already got confirmation slash leaks that they've given us six different free Gokus, which I think is dope. You know, a lot of people are saying this is actually part of, like, the, the Goku Day campaign, but it's actually not. It's part of the anniversary campaign. We're getting one of every single Gokus all the way up to Super Saiyan Blue. Right now, we got Super Saiyan that came out last night, and I believe we're probably going to get Super Saiyan 2 tomorrow, then 3, then uh, God, Super Saiyan Blue, and it's dope. I like the fact they're doing stuff like that. They're, they're just throwing free units at us. But the real question is, the hype question is, is what are we getting for the anniversary? Now, as always, even though we can all kind of assume that Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and Zamasu are coming based on the color scheme we've gotten and based on whatever is speculating. I always like to toss it out there that we don't know for sure what's, what's happening. For all we know, that color scheme might be something else. What if they're releasing Ultra Instinct next week and, I don't know, Super Saiyan 4 Goku again? I, they're, they're not. It's probably like a 0.1% chance that happens, but it's still possible. I always like to point out that we always like to make predictions, and when predictions are wrong, there's usually some kind of like backlash towards the game. It's like, I can't believe they did this. Well, we all kind of guessed wrong at that point. But let's be real. It looks like it's going to be Zamasu as well as Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, which either way I'm excited for. Now, something I like to always point out is if you're new to the game, which I feel like the anniversary is always bringing a lot of people because they toss out a lot of crystals at you, they toss out a lot of uh, events at you. There's a lot to be, you know, it's going to be a lot to do. It's going to be kind of overwhelming, and you should always focus on one thing. Now, let's say uh, we do end up getting a double LF banner next week. I want to point out you guys should only focus on one of the two because you guys know 74 LFs is like the worst thing in the game. It's just like. Oh, the rates! You know what would be cool? If the Drabble Legends team for for the anniversary and moving on doubled the rates. Like, you know, made it 1% for LFs or something like that. Especially since we're getting closer and closer to the point where they're going to reveal ultras as summonable units. But, like, I want them to do that. They're not going to, but I want them to do that. And with that said, with, you know, all the current in-game currency you can get, I always tell people to focus on one thing. You know, if we do end up getting a double banner, it ends up being Zamasu and Gogeta, pick one of the two. If you're a GT main or a Saiyan main or a Fuse Warrior main, Go for Super Saiyan 4 Goku. If you like Future, which is majority of the game apparently, you know, we always say Drama Legends loves Future, but it's actually us who loves Future. The reason why they keep dropping Future units is because it's the most popular tag by the player base. If you love Future, go for Zamasu. Like, try not to basically, you know, split your chances of getting one or the other because what ends up happening is, is you get none of them. But if you focus on one, you get one, then you can try to get the second one. Or maybe you focus only on that one and then try to get their Z power, yada, yada, yada. So it's something I want to kind of toss out there. If you're brand new to the game or you've been playing the last months, couple months, slash couple years, focus on that one unit first. Now, when it comes down to any anniversary moment in any gacha game, they're the most hyped times to play the games. And the main reason why is because a lot is happening. If you're free to play, which is what a lot of players are, you got a lot of crystals or in-game currency thrown at you so you can get, you know, summons and stuff like that. They also dropped the most hype of hype characters. There's a lot of events going on. It's just like the best time to play the game. In fact, if you're excited for the anniversary for Legends for year three, I need you to punch the like button a bajillion times. Use that as a hype factor for this video. If you only get three likes, that means nobody cares. If this video has a bajillion likes, that shows you how excited people are for this anniversary celebration. So, go at it. Let me know how excited you are. But back to what I was saying is the anniversary is the best time to play any of these games. Now, I do want to kind of preface this by saying I don't know everything that's going to happen. I do know some of the things, but I don't know everything that's going to happen. And the main thing that, honestly, I want to see out of a celebration isn't just, like, releases and hype stuff. I also want to see improvements to the games, you know? Because, like, the thing is, is, you guys remember how I talked about this when Doka under the year three anniversary? I wasn't really happy with how they handled it. I feel like it was just a thing where they just dropped two new units and then called it a day. Well, it was more than two units. But you know what I mean? Like, the, the year three celebration to me wasn't that hype. I feel like celebrations for anniversaries are the best time to introduce new things. You know, you can, for example, fix current issues in the game. Like, make it so you can have better chances to reroll equipment. Equipment is so important in this game, but it's top five of the most obnoxious things to go for like you know if you keep re-rolling something you keep getting the a rank b rank a rank b rank like give me the good give me the good stats man just once they need to fix that you know i want to see them actually improve in-game in mechanics like that and make stuff more more smoother maybe perhaps they can even figure out a way to send less data in pvp so you lag less stuff like that that's honestly why i look forward to in these games the most in fact another question 
Comment section below. When it comes down to this specific anniversary, what are you most excited for? Are you excited for the fact that they're gonna drop, you know, someone like LF Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and Zamasu, or whoever ends up being a 2 LS? We haven't really gotten full confirmations. Or are you looking forward to the other events like, you know, improvements to the game? Or do you care about the free-to-play aspects like how to drop in all these different Gokus and potentially whatever else is coming out in the game? The reason why I'm bringing this up in the first place is because, well, let's be real. When games like this drop like hype stuff, like for example, let's say Duel Links introduces a new mini box or box introduces new cards. Or Dokkan drops those two hype new units. Or Legends drops Gogeta and Zamasu next week. It's going to be so fun for two weeks. You know, you hop on, if you pull them, of course. You pull the units, you hop online, you body people, you see the fancy new animations. It's a lot of fun to play for about two weeks. And then you go back to basically dealing with the same issues that have been plaguing these games. Now, I will give Legends some credit. They've improved the games, the games so much in the last three years. If you look back, if you were there since day one and look at the game at day one to what it is now, they're two completely different games. But we're talking about the same game that three years ago, it would take you nine hours nine hours to level up a unit from like level one to three thousand or no two thousand i don't even think three thousand was a max level yet but it took you like nine hours to max something out and here we are doing it in a second so we can hop into pvp they improved their game a lot and that's honestly why we can bring this up i, I want to see them improve the game more and more and more so i'm not just playing it for two weeks i'm not just playing for that hype moment because something crazy came out i want to play it further than beyond because end of the day i love legends it's a lot of fun but i do get burned out a lot just because if i run into things like let's say a couple of laggy matches, I don't wanna play the game for the rest of the week, you know? And sometimes I'll put the game down until the next banner comes out and then I come back, I get excited, only to realize, oh, the lag makes me not wanna play. The other big thing to me also is just the fact that you thank the player base for the anniversary. So the thing, honestly, that I'm looking for the most, and I'm probably gonna be critiquing the Drama Legends team the most on, is gonna be how to thank you guys, the players. You know, I mean, we already seen them do a couple things like doing that retweet campaign where it's like get 15,000 retweets for 100 crystals. While I am, Kind of happy to see them giving out crystals this time instead of useless tickets. I'm also kind of thinking like 15,000 retweets for 100 crystals. Not to be that guy, but you can even you can toss us a couple more crystals. Now, that's not to say that that's all we get. You know, knowing the anniversary campaign, they're probably going to toss out crystals at us left and right. So if they do something like that, great. You know, give us events that let's just get crystals and stuff like that. Great. Like stuff like that is cool. I'm just saying, you know, I saw that tweet last time. It's like, yeah, 15,000 retweets. And I'm like, that's really worth only 100 crystals? You know, the way I look at it is, is like the, there's companies out there that will literally, you know, put in so much money into campaigns to get retweets and to really like get their product out there. And usually they pay way more than 100 crystals. I'm going to say that. You know, that's, that's all I'm saying. But with that said, is, is I'm just looking forward to see what they do the most in regards to thanking the player base. And so far, honestly, they're off to a good start. I mean, the different Gokus coming out is dope. The only thing that was I am kind of critical about with the free Gokus that they're dropping is you can't really run them all on the same team. Because what they seem to do is, is they seem to be only boosting their specific tag as well as their colors. So, for example, the red Goku that just dropped. The red Goku was the first one, right? He boosts Saiyan Saga units and then red. So you can't really run them all together. I feel like if they release them so you can run all six in the together as a team that probably would have been cool because then if you're a new player to the game who doesn't have a team right off the bat you get a team they could could have done something like that but i also feel like maybe there was another reason why they didn't do that and they intend on having you run these units separately with different saiyan teams i have no idea i'm not going to critique that i like the fact that they're dropping units and to me that's actually very very cool real question is, is what else they're going to do are we going to get just these you know six gokus or are they going to go further beyond and drop something else wild like there's a lot of direction they can go with with what they gave us for a celebration. I can talk about this for hours and hours just trying to figure out where they're going to go, but honestly, no one really knows. Like I said, I know so many things they're doing, and it sounds pretty fun, but not everything. I'm sure I've only heard like 5% of what they're going to do, and over the course of the next couple of days, we're going to see these things come out. Now, the question I want to ask you guys is if you've been actively playing the game in the last couple of months, also, especially if you're new or a veteran player, I want to know where you currently stand with the game. Some of the things that you want to see change, some of the things that you want to see, I guess, updated and improved in this anniversary. Any kind of feedback will probably do. Let me know down below. Like I said, my main thing is, is I want to see stuff for longevity. You know, I'm excited to play with whatever they drop for the next two weeks. But after that, it's like, well, time to wait for the next banner, which is obviously kind of like the gotcha game curse. You know, gotchas, that's what they do. That, that's how they get you. You got gotcha. They make you get excited for new stuff that comes out. You kind of get bored, and then they rinse and repeat. That's kind of the gotcha cycle. The thing, like I said, I like the most about Legends is, is unlike most gotchas that I've ever played, I actually really, really enjoyed the way the gameplay works in this game. And honestly, if you can make this more fun, make this more, I guess, uh, player-friendly over the course of the future, that's going to draw me in to play it more often. And I know it's going to draw other players as well. So any kind of critique and feedback you have that will make you want to play this game more, let me know down below. With that said, I end this with this final question. Again, we don't know for sure, 
But let's say it does end up being Zamasu versus Gogeta. Which of the two are you going to go for first? Are you going for Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta for your, your Fusion Warrior Saiyan GT boost? Or are you going for your future, your, your, your regeneration, your uh, whatever else is the, the Zamasu tag? Can't think of top of head. Are you going for that? Let me know down below. Now, as far as when everything is going to start, because I know it's going to be the big question, we do know that the big reveal should be on the 29th, sometimes super early. So expect content around then. But until then, I guess we're just kind of hanging out and waiting and stuff. Actually, I might honestly play some Legends PvP tonight. Not like on stream or on video format or anything. Just kind of get back into the groove. But for now, we're just still playing a waiting game. So with that said, how excited are you? Let me know down below. If you have any questions, let me know down below as well. And feel free like to talk amongst yourself and all that good stuff. You know what I love about games like Legends is, is the community aspect of it is so fun. Like last night on my TikTok, which by the way, yes, I have TikTok. I got tagged by two players who were just going at it like, Yo, Ryan, you gotta see this, you gotta see this. And they just end up fighting each other. One beat the other. One beat him because he has Rising Rush. It was just fun. And just seeing that kind of like exciting interaction between these two kind of hyped me up. Like I like seeing stuff like that. And by the way, if you are on TikTok and you do post Legends content over there, feel free to tag me. I've been actually looking at all the Legends content all week in the past couple days when people have been tagging me to it. So if you have TikTok, tag me at RhymeStyle and all that good stuff. With that said, thank you guys for watching. I'm excited for this. If you are as well, hit that thumbs up. Let me know what you think about, you know, the anniversary, what you're expecting to see. And I guess I'll see you guys in a couple days. Peace.